Most evenings, this is where you'll find 12-year-old Aliyah, not at hospital undergoing chemotherapy, but at home, playing video games after a long day in school. Her brain tumour has markedly reduced after undergoing a new medical trial for children with paediatric gliomas. I just take, like, tablets um, twice a day and then every few months I go back to the hospital and they give me an MRI to see if it's all working. The treatment replaces chemotherapy for patients with this type of cancer. That means children like Aliyah don't have to miss school to spend long hours in hospital. It's a new trial treatment that combines two drugs. For Aliyah, the side effects are almost unnoticeable. It doesn't really give me a big impact. I don't really go to the hospital as much as I used to. I'm guessing that's probably because of the um, tablets. They've probably been helping me a lot. The trial showed the dual treatment to be four times better than chemotherapy in shrinking tumours. They shrunk by more than 50% in nearly half of patients that received it. In 86% of patients, the disease was controlled. Professor Hargrave has been working on this treatment for 20 years. Childhood cancers are often driven by a gene that's gone wrong and it actually just causes the cell to grow out of control whereas normally it would go ahead and do its normal job. And by ad identifying these particular mutations, we've been able to develop drugs that target that specific mutation and hence target the cancer cells specifically. Here in the UK every year, about 500 children develop brain tumours. 30 to 50 of them would benefit from this treatment. That means around the world that could be hundreds, possibly thousands. Doctors here at Great Ormond Street Hospital in London hope this treatment will become the new standard of care. Brain tumours are the leading cause of cancer deaths in both children and young adults. Medics are banking on targeted trials like this to be the start of finding solutions for other cancers. For Aaliyah, it has meant less time in hospital and more time at home. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.